guys good morning i think i might just vlog today and maybe tomorrow i don't know it's thanksgiving week um we might go to the zoo and um josh is off work today so that's nice he does work on thanksgiving um, but first target you know what i'm saying if you follow my target instagram and podcast so we need to go grocery shopping and then um, possibly Target because for some reason I can't find our Christmas stockings that I got Josh and I last year when we were engaged for Christmas. I don't know why. Those other ones were from Target too. For some reason they're not in my parents' attic. So we gotta get some mole. Some mole from Target. We'll see. I might get the same ones that I had last time. They have an L and a J in red writing and then they're, they're like a cream color which would go well with our living room. Um, or I'll just get ones that are like completely neutral without any red. So let's go see what they have. But speaking of Target, I got these little sparkly Christmas trees in the dollar section. I got Made with Love Mrs. Claus cookies from the dollar section. <laughs> and um, that wreath right there, and then the two ornaments, the L and J, those are from Home Goods, I think, but they're ornaments. So once we get our tree, which I think we'll put it right there, I was going to say right there, but I feel like it might be a little bit too awkward in the corner. Okay, we're going in the new secret door. Oh, I don't know about that. That's a lot. <laughs> okay, guys, it is Black Friday. Um, I went into Target and I survived the crowd. It wasn't too bad, surprisingly. Um, but I will show you guys at home what I kind of did for decorations that um, a few things I got from Michaels. And I will try and link the products down below. I have these really cute lanterns that I put our fake candles in. And they look so pretty for Christmas on our um, wooden shelf. Okay, so I put these string lights on our wedding sign. And they turned out really cute. I'm just waiting for Josh's J to come in the mail, hopefully by Wednesday. And I've got mine up on the mantle or on our uh, wooden shelf that Josh built. We have... Um, my LED lights, they look so real when they're on. I've talked about them on Instagram. If you want the link to them, let me know. Um, they're wax also, so that's cool. And I have the little um, lanterns. I have this big one and then this smaller one. And they're from Michaels, which I will try and link down below. Then this really pretty sparkly deer that my mom got me is from Target. And the um, green runner is from Michaels as well. And um, I used these string lights or fairy lights, and those are from tar Target in the dollar section. On our dining room table, I do have these um, little jars filled, which I kind of have been changing out for each season. So right now I have these sparkly um, garland and the sparkly uh, pine cones in there. And then at the bottom, I have the pine cones that smell really good. Um, so that's that little thing. I just have some little Christmassy things sprinkled here and there. And then the pine cones that smell really good are kind of sporadically throughout, so. Okay guys, I'm about to try and make a blanket using this kind of, I guess, yarn. I don't know what to call it, fabric. Um, it's pretty thick, like each strand, and it's so soft, and I'm gonna try and do it off of a YouTube video, so I'm gonna probably show you guys and film it. So to start off with making the blanket, I'm just taking this, um, the piece of the, I guess, yarn, and then I'm just tying it in a knot, but making sure there's a loop at the top. And just a warning, I made and started these out way too big, so definitely try to do smaller loops than I am. So now I'm just weaving the um, yarn through the little holes, and it's really simple, it's hard to explain, it's probably just easier to watch me as I go, but I basically just, put a um, kind of small size, like I said, do smaller than I did, um, but I'm just weaving it through like this. So you're gonna pull through, but not all the way. So continue to pull through and it'll kind of start to look like a braid. So I got all the way to the end and now I'm starting back on the left side. And so I did about 25 knots and you can do bigger if you want, um, depending on how big you want your blanket. Now you're going to 
pull another loop out of the top and then you'll keep going. So for instance, now you have two rows and now you're starting your um, second row. So I'm just basically pulling up each little hole, opening it up and then pulling through like this. And like I said, I did it way too big in the beginning. So make sure you're making your loops way smaller than this. So I'm trying to show you guys from this angle. And then here I made it all the way to the end. So I did 25 um, little things all the way to the end. Now I have three loops and I'm starting my next row. So as you can see, I'm repeating the same exact process, but now I'm starting from the opposite side and we are just looping all the way through. Once again, this is my first time making this blanket so you can see how many holes are in here. But later in the video, you'll see that I realized how I needed to make it a lot tighter. So now you can start to see it forming. You could even just make this a scarf if you wanted. Um, but yes, and I will also be linking the yarn that you um, should typically use when making a blanket like this, and I will link it down below. You can find it at Michael's Craft Stores or a Joann's Craft Store. So just make sure to check out the link. So here I am looping it through and just keep repeating the process. Now on to the fourth row. As you can see here, I'm just trying to show you guys the number of loops that I have. I'm pretty sure this is four, um, but you'll get the hang of it um, probably at this point. It honestly took me a bit and I was confused and um, realized, I think around here, that I need to make it tighter. So you can see it's a little bit um, tighter. The loops are smaller and that's how you do create a tighter look unless you really want a really um, open and loose look, then don't listen to me and make the loops as big as you want. But here we go. And you can see that I'm just getting closer to pretty much the end of the blanket. Just keep in mind, you can continue as long as you want, obviously, depending how long you want your blanket to end up being. I ended up using two um, big balls, or no, three big balls of yarn, and um, I got this size. So once I had used three of the big balls of yarn, I'm pretty sure I did three, I will start ending it. So you're going to um, loop. This is kind of hard to show you guys, but I'm just taking a loop, pulling it through, and then combining the two loops. So once again, this might just be simpler for you to just watch instead of having me explain, but here are the two loops braiding them through and creating that same braid that you pretty much started with. Um, I'm calling it a braid because it kind of looks like it. But um, so yeah, I'm looping two. I have two bunny ears. One bunny ear goes into the other one and it creates a braid to finish off the whole blanket. Once you're to the end of the blanket, you will cut it or just go ahead and tie it off. And I did forget to mention, once you do run out of yarn, you'll just tie it and the knot that you tie it to will just weave right into the blanket. You won't really notice it, but I will cut to a clip here to try to show you guys on my own blanket um, where I tied the knots. Okay, here's the finished product. It's really cozy. Okay guys, 
We have the tree right here. We're gonna um, make some dinner and then start decorating it. We've got some stuff going on. We're just doing pasta and some ground oh, turkey. We can make pesto pasta. With some pesto. All right, we're gonna put pesto in the pasta. Straight in. And this is lentil pasta. It's actually really good. It tastes the same. Organic. And it's better. It? The trick is to add some cream Makes to make it creamy. It creamy. Same thing with red sauce. You can add cream or milk or whatever. Here it is, guys. And then you add some some cheesy cheese. 